Hello to guys, Arava here and welcome back to another part of my F1 Manager 2022 career mode here with Alfa Romeo as our very first save. If you guys did miss the previous part at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, then be sure to go check that one out before you see this one because that was a pretty insane episode. A photo finish race between the race leaders. Like literally on the timing ladder, it was 0, 0.000. Like I, they, the game couldn't distinguish it pretty much. It was insane. And we had some amazing battles ourselves. Obviously, Guan Yu Zhou, how many double overtakes did that man do? Absolutely amazing. And we're going to kick things off, actually, with uh, we've got a development booster point now for him. So this is how you can improve your drivers. If they've got a certain potential, they're young enough, they're going to gain these experience points, and they're going to all add up into a development point. So you gain experience by doing every race, every week, you know, in and out and that equals up to a development point you can you can see the next one is in 2247 experience so that's the next time we'll get another one of these points but we've got one to spend right here and we can add it on so in terms of where we're gonna add it for him we've been told before in an email because i remember the debrief yeah again once again at saudi arabia they told me adaptability performance of granu joe could be improved uh, obviously we already knew that the dirty air high-speed cornering of the of the car is not the greatest. So we're going to use that knowledge and we're going to add plus one onto adaptability. So that will hopefully mean things like, you know, just whatever situation Guan Yu Zhou is in, it means that he can, you know, best, you know, adapt, ad well, it says in the name, adapt to it, basically. I think, you know, it will affect things like tire wear, potentially also when he's battling cars, maybe he uses ERS when it's in neutral, a bit, you know, smarter, potentially, and also just knowing when to battle. Uh, and then also when the tire start to go off can he adjust his driving style to still get the best out of the car because I felt like versus Bottas on the hard compound he's always had less pace than Bottas in his first two races so that'll be interesting to look at but we're now coming back through. Uh, we've got board uh, representative Patrick saying the board watched Jeddah and they were exceeding uh, expectations brilliantly. It was a fantastic race. Strong credit. Our confidence is grown uh, in us as a leader. So we continue to impress the board. And here was the overview of that race. Leclerc won it from Verstappen. Literally a photo finish. So the two of them are literally one point apart. Bottas in P4. Grand New Joe P, uh, P8. But obviously this is the main one we care about the team standings and right now we are level on points with Mercedes so I think this this season this first season is going to be this Mercedes battle which is really quite intriguing because I mean having a look at the battles that we've had so far you've also got Alpine Alpha Tauri kind of getting in the mix and annoying us we'll continue on in terms of car development it's just we're waiting on the same ones uh, we literally physically can't do any more car development right now because all our slots have been taken so at the moment we're actually just going to mosey on through uh, the calendar basically and get all the way to to um, the uh, the Australian Grand Prix. A design is complete for the new chassis. So just in time for Australia, the chassis design has been completed. Uh, we've got a board confidence check-in. Um, expect a good result on your board review in four months. Awesome, great. So right now our board confidence is looking good. They're happy with that. Um, we have got a monthly card report. So this is just our how our car stacks up compared to everyone else. You can see here still we're very low. We're ninth on the grid for high speed and ninth on acceleration. Kind of maybe... Uh, explains why when we overtake cars, we keep getting re-overtaken, um, you know, with DRS. And when we have DRS, sometimes it's not as uh, powerful. So we need to try and improve that. And obviously, dirty air cornering high speed can be improved. Uh, engine cooling, we're on the best. And then we're kind of level playing with everyone else. Uh, financial report-wise, I think we're good financially. I mean, our balance is going up. You know, we're not overspending right now in terms of cost cap and stuff like that. Um, I think we're good. Like, you know, we're, we're still very much, you know, on, on track with that. We haven't even spent too much money. I think, you know, uh, in total, maybe about 10 million uh, for like the new factory and such. That's still being built 46 days. But chassis design is complete. So the chassis design's done. Now we need to actually manufacture this um, chassis. And I make, I'm going to make... Um, well, um, uh, well, let's make well, let, let, let's make two, because the chassis right now that we've got is okay. So let's make two right now. Might make some spares down the line. But right now, normal approach. I mean, if we rush it, it's 75k. That's really not that much. Gets done 13th of April in five days. Uh, emergency one. Oh, wow. Emergency 600k. 
Um, comes at a large cost and should only be used if a car parts needed today. Um, okay, interesting. So, so if you basically if you had no spare parts, you would use emergency to maybe make one. We're just going to go for rushed. You know, I think the car's in an okay performance where we're not desperate for this chassis for this running Grand Prix, so it can wait till after the Grand Prix. So we'll go with rushed. That'll be 225k. That's fine. We'll spend that. Of course, right now this money doesn't seem like a lot to us, but we need to make sure. Remember, we've already done two races of like 22 or whatever. Eventually, we are going to have to make sure we fit under this cost gap and whatnot. But um, right now, it's all good. Race preview then for Australia. Ferrari lead by um, 10 points and Leclerc leads by one. Uh, in terms of the circuit, in terms of what we're looking at, expected strategy. Well, there's a one or a two stop with two sets of mediums. I, I suspect maybe some of the AI might even try this two stop. So there may be some opportunities for us to gain on them with one less stop. Um, and then in terms of the car attributes, high speed is, again, very important. So, again, I, I mean, I thought Jeddah we had struggled. But I think the car setup work we did in practice was so great that it negated that high speed um, kind of, you know, down on performance, as it were. So let's go to performance targets and review that. So reach Q3. Um, so that's that. That's the target for this, for this race is um, reach Q3 because obviously last race it was uh, get P10, wasn't it? So guarantee slot. We can reach two. Of course, reach Q2. Of course, if we're going to reach Q3. You may as well. And then qualifying position. Let's say P10. Let's say P10 minimum, and we'll get some extra money. And then the race target. Fastest lap? No. Okay, what do they want? Okay, so this time the race target finally is a finish position of P10. Uh, and they want both drivers to finish in the top 10. That's our race target, okay? I'm not going to add the fast lap gar guarantee because there's just no way we can do that. Uh, qualifying position streak, two out of three. So if we get both drivers in through higher than P12 today, we're going to get this three out of three streak and earn 1.1 million uh, for this potential reward. So it could be a really good weekend for us. But yeah, we're all agreed on that. Um, we're still building the chassis. So in terms of all car parts fitted, yeah, they're all the, you know, yeah, we've got the new suspension that we had from episode one, but everything else is um, the first iteration because we're still waiting on the second iteration of chassis to actually even be built. That'll get done in five days time. So without further ado, we can actually just jump into uh, the practice action. So I've simulated FP1 because I reckon the best way to do this will be simming FP1. So you get a kind of, kind of baseline basis of this setup and kind of, you know, you get kind of the faff of the knowledge of track and climatization and the parts out of the way and then I can tweak this setup and improve it and actually get it to a better place uh, in FP2 and FP3 especially like we did last episode so I reckon that's the best way to go about it I personally think there is no harm in simming the P1 you, I, you know unless you really start to learn about the setup in each circuit and you're able to off the bat get a great setup i think it's great to sim it and then go from there bottas p5 granny joe p9 again in the similar kind of positions but it looks like alpha tower a bit more improved with gasly up there we didn't see gasly uh featuring too highly or either of the alpha tower is too highly a jedda uh, at least in the in the qualifying sessions and practice sessions so that's maybe one to look at but right now setup confidence 47 and 49 only for Valtteri and Guan Yu Zhou. So from here, can we do better and tweak them? I guess we'll find out and then we'll do further tweaking in FP3. So let's go to practice two and we'll actually take it this time and uh, we'll see. Interesting though. So actually maybe, maybe so already maybe actually, I'm already going to reverse that. Maybe you should do what I did in Jeddah is take FP1, sim FP2, then do FP3 because you start off then you let the AI take over and continue your work and then you finish it, I guess. I don't know. Let's see, though. What's the setup saying for here? So, it's not... So, okay, so I can see what the problem is here. So, we're pretty bad in cornering, bad in straight. So, we need to bring down the straights to the minimum and then I need to get the cornering to max and then kind of keep everything else in the same sort of region anyway. So, how are we going to tweak this? So, those two affect that. Right. That's going to be the greatest thing there. Then if I skew that up and then bring that like this and then that's gonna okay right so if i bring that there and then ooh, ooh yo yo okay 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 configure that uh granny joe's gonna come in and same for him what's he saying okay okay for him oh wow we could be on to a winner here we don't know how he feels about this about that last one okay i'm just gonna go softs then and run plan of 10 laps that's gonna take a little bit less time for him to do and uh i can just send him out okay yeah. 
He feels natural with the balance. That is good. Set up. Oh! Set up confidence. 91! 91! Oh my. Oh my. Just call me a bloody engineer. That is actually so good. Look at that. Look at that. Optimal. Great, great, great. Optimal. 91. Oh, boys. This is perfect. Be off of Bottas. Okay, great, great, good. Question mark, question mark. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. So I need to now send him out. I'm going to send him back out on the hard tyres. 10 laps. That's going to take four, 14 seconds to do. Just because we're not changing the setup. And then we can send him out on his way. And hopefully I can then see what he is saying. Oh, Magnussen spun. Magnussen spun All in practice. Right, Obviously, that's what it's for, but... Last, so our second last turn. Oh, just took too much curb there. Way too much curb. On driver confidence. 79. So not as good with Bottas. I'm going to call him in. Because um, I want to tweak that just before FP3. Right. So we've got great, 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 good. So it's, it's not, it's not, it's, it's not bad. You know, 79% is still better than the setup confidence he had last race, basically. So it's just because Guan Yu Zhou's had such amazing confidence on his setup that um, it just looks worse. But really, in hindsight, that is better than what we had, we've had so far uh, on this game. So really not that bad at all. But at the moment, Leclerc is the one that leads the way. We're just going to stay in the garage now. Only two minutes left. Leclerc leads from Verstappen. Sainz, Perez. We are, again, in a checkerboard with Mercedes, literally. Alonso, and then split by uh, the Alpha Tauri. So like I said, Gasly is performing a bit better. Um, and then McLaren are just behind. I feel like they are creeping up and ga gaining a little bit. Um, potentially from where they started in the season, McLaren. But for our practice session, not bad, not bad. We can finish this off in P3. Maybe just f make the final tweaks uh, for Bottas to get his set up in an even sweeter window, hopefully. Okay, Saturday. Apparently, there's going to be some mod moderate rain here. So, um, that's going to make things a bit interesting. Let's go to practice three, though. We'll take it ourselves to finish off the work we've been doing with Valtteri Bottas's car. Guan Yu Zhou's kind of very calm. So, it's really just Bottas where we need to um change this round and just try and tweak this so what have we got where okay so i need to i'm actually going to look at Guan Yu joe's and see where he is here so i feel like he is a bit more in the middle with both those parameters that bottas is good with so i think with traction if i can get it up to there but then i need to bring everything back down so that is the tweak i'm proposing i think that little tweak is gonna get bottas you know very good set up i hope um we're gonna have to do a bit of a long stint on mediums i think uh yeah we'll do a 15 laps on medium oh actually you know what why don't we bump this up to 20 laps on mediums and let's hope he can get that knowledge meanwhile for uh joe i'm just going to send him out on the soft compound on a 15 lap run just to get track of monetization to be honest Oh, Bottas with a lockup in FP3. Hoping that's not a sign of his strategy. Maybe he goes really, really wide. God damn it. Okay, that's a bit more like it. Set of confidence, 88% now with Bottas. That's good. That's good. I'm going to bring him in. Well, there we go. End of the session. Checkered flag as everyone comes in. Granny Joe, P8. Bottas, P4. But Joe, uh, even, yeah, I think the timings don't... Give the full story. Guan Yu Zhou's looked the more comfortable driver this entire time. You know, he's come away with better acclimatization to the track, better confidence on the setup, more performance bonuses. Um, I'm really rooting for Joe. Uh, he had a really strong race in Jeddah. It was unfortunate about his mistake. If it wasn't for that mistake, I think he could have been up there in P6, you know, bringing home a very double, uh, solid double points. Uh, very high double points finish for us rather than just the P9 he got, I think, what it was it. So um, I'm hoping it pans out for him in quali. But who knows? I, you know, there was meant to be some rain on the way. It could still be coming for quali. We could have our very first wet session of the entire game. No rain <laughs> at the moment, but it says five minutes and there might be a 35% chance. I think that is so... Let's uh, let's get a lap in early. Let's get a, let's get a soft tire lap in early. The Bottas on his flying lap, and there is some rain. The rain is falling. There's some spits, I think, at the top of the screen. That is, it's still a bit, it's still dry enough for a, for a dry lap time. So I'm hoping they can just finish it. But Joe, who's a little bit further back, looks like Sector Two is the one that's a bit darker. Who else is in Sector Two? Michael Schumacher, not Michael Schumacher, Mick Schumacher. God, over. It definitely is more overcast here. Definitely more, more overcast here. But there's not many people out, so. I'm hoping this could catch some people out, maybe, if the rain does come. Bottas is going to get his lap in. Doesn't seem too wet on the rear camera, but oh, it's looking cloudy here. 
Looking very cloudy there. Bottas, one tenth off Ocon. Verstappen goes, Jesus, a whole second quicker. Grand New Joe comes in. What's he going to do? Three tenths off Bottas, but it's looking very doom and gloom now. So, really hoping the rain is going to start pelting down and maybe get in the way of some others. I just said two minutes to the 20, 35%, and then it went to five minutes. So, don't know if it's inaccurate weather forecast or what, but I don't know. I feel like there is some... It's either dust or literal little rain droplets everywhere. And it definitely looks darker in Sector 2, so I'm just not completely sure yet. But science is going to feel the pressure here. But you're coming to about two minutes to go now. We'll get down to it. Science has to get a lap in here. He has to get a lap in. I think we're fine. I think we're comfortable. It is definitely cloudier now. It's definitely cloudier now. Science has to get a lap in. Ricardo does as well. They want to be in Q2. The two Mercs are a bit low. They're going to feel a bit of pressure. I think we're fine with Granny Joe and Bottas here, to be honest. Um, as it is just more overcast. But everyone else is out. All right, checkered flag's falling. Let's see. Everyone comes through. Bottas, Granny Joe are going to be pushed out. Oh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight for Granny Joe. Mick Schumacher, Magnussen is the only car who could maybe do something. And, oh my. Okay, we cut that fine. We cut that fine. We cut that fine. Granny Joe, P15, Bottas, P10. That could have been a bit of a howler. But it wasn't. It wasn't. We made it through. Just, just. No rain, no proper rain there in that Q1 session. And once more, it is Red Bull v Ferrari. But Alpine, look, uh, both of them right up there with Mercedes. So it is going to be... Uh, like Jeddah, but even more so maybe Alfa Romeo ourselves versus Merck and Alpine. Let's go for Q2 and uh, see what we can really do now. Because that was only one run, you know. The Stappens aren't Inters. It is Inters time. It is Inters time. Interesting. Our first ever... Oh, this is going to be... I hope this is... I hope, I hope it will be all right. I hope it will be all right. Okay. Intermediate ties, huh? We don't know how they're going to work. We don't know how our car works on Inters, but... We shall see then. All right, first runs, Bottas. What's Joe going to do? Is he... Oh, okay. You know what, Joe's uh, keep, keeping up with Bottas here in the wet, in the rain. I thought there might be a worry that he's going to be so far off him, but still about three tenths off him in the dry and wet. So most likely and now the sun is coming out. Track condition has changed to wet from race control. Russell's not even set. Hamilton, Russell haven't set a time yet. Hamilton's out on the full wet. Hamilton didn't bother to set an inter's time. That might be a big mistake, big blunder from Silver Arrows. And even the Alpha Tauris didn't get out. The, even Ricardo as well. Everyone, I mean, Ru Norris didn't do much better. So I think Norris caught the end of the full wet conditions. So it's full wets now. I don't know what that... I mean, surely they're going to go slower. Surely, surely. Hamilton, he's going to finish his lap on full wets. I'm curious what this lap time is going to be. Ricardo's gone 11.7 slower on Inters in these conditions because he was finishing his lap. Hamilton, where's he going to go? He's starting his lap only now. Okay. Russell's, oh, Russell's only P12. On Inters, on Inters though. What's Hamilton doing? Hamilton's on four wets. And he's still going. Four minutes left. Need to keep an eye on that. Cross the line for Hamilton. Where is that? Oof. Ooh. Both Mercs could be out here, you know? Both Mercs could be out. But it is sunnier now. It is sunnier. What's the weather like? It's going to get sunny now. Ooh. Fifth what? This last bit of this quality is going to be dry, is it? Configure. Let's go. Let's let, let's risk it a little bit. Let's do two flying laps, just in case. Just in case we get caught out here. It looks dry. It looks dry. I think it is dry. I'm sending them out. I'm, I don't care what the AI are doing. I do not care what the AI are doing. I'm just going to send them out in case. Well, I'm calling them in. I made a mistake there. The track looked dry to me, but no, it's still so much standing water out there. But because it was so sunny. I thought the track was going to dry out pretty rapidly, but no, I was wrong. But only a couple of seconds left in the session. And to be honest, on the full-wet yeah, tyres, I really don't know how much Copy. quicker these lot are going to go. Ricardo, Russell, Hamilton, the two Alpha Tauris, even these guys on the wets, they're not improving the lap time. That Inter's time we did is going to be enough. And there we have it. And there we have it. Session ending. The two Mercedes cars. Russell did improve there at the end, but the two Mercedes are knocked out in Q2. Big shock there from them. A Haas makes it into Q3. Both Alpines. That is a big, big win for us. Right, Joe's going to finish his lap. I think Norris is ahead of him. So let's see what the McLaren does. Lap time-wise, we should be beating them. We should be uh, decent in the margin ahead of them, actually. Looking at where our car was. No. Oh, that is not a good lap from Joe. That is not a good lap. 
we should be beating Norris. And oh my god, there's so much traffic for Bottas. Bottas out of the last possible minute. Granny Joe's already coming out there. And there's a good bit of clean air for all of us. We're literally going to be the last cars on this track. So I'm hoping the track grip's going to go nice enough for Bottas. I mean, he's P10, Granny Joe P8. So it's been a horrendous Q3. Don't know what happened. I guess maybe the rain washed away a lot of the grip and um our first laps we went out like we were on the first three cars out so maybe that's why maybe we kind of dried up the track for others better i'm not too sure but we'll speed this up and we'll get on to the actual flying laps and it is then go time show time for them to do the business there as granny joe starts bottas still getting through and there's no traffic for either of these drivers no traffic whatsoever so I'm hoping it should be all good. Checker flag's fallen, and there's going to be people finishing their laps now. Let's watch on the left-hand side what kind of lap times are they going to be for them as we ride on board with Joe, the first car of ours that's going to cross the line. Lonzo improves a little bit. Ocon a little bit, but they stay P5 and 6. Magnussen does hardly improves, and he's only P9 then. Is the McLaren going to jump up at all? Those guys will stay put, so it's very close. 2,000, oh, again... 5,000 separates the top three. Leclerc, Verstappen, and Sainz. What can Granny Joe do? Can he climb himself up the order? Only up to P7. Only up to P7. And then Bottas run for the line. P10 at the moment. Where can he place? It is P5 ahead of the two Alpines. That's more like it from Valtteri. That's more like it. Up to P5. I thought we should be beating the Alpines. I was going to be worried if the Alpines beat us today in qualifying because they would have made a step forward and we've made a step backwards this episode. But no, Bottas ahead in P5. Granu Joe, P8. Kind of, you know, if we look, look to the last two episodes, that's, you know, that, that's kind of where we expect him to be. But I thought because of how well he did in practice, I thought he would just be a bit closer because he seemed just more confident around this circuit. Car setup confidence was there, but I guess in the end of it, the pedigree of, you know, how good you are as a driver and the base stats, uh, matters a bit more than that, obviously. Uh, and that can only do only, only, only do so much for you. But P5 and 8, I think we're going to be in a, in a strong battle with Alpine for this race, I think it looks like. And uh, definitely Merck, if they can get past this traffic, they'll be looking to try and catch back up to us. Right, race strategy-wise, don't believe there is rain on the way. So let's have a gander. One stop or all the two. Two stop or one stop. I think we are, we've got the best chance doing the one to be honest, or we could go a bit different and try something aggressive. Should just try something different and just go for an aggressive two-stop. Maybe Bottas, maybe Guan Yu Zhou might work better with a two-stop because Bottas is very good at keeping his hard tyres and having good pace. And then Guan Yu Zhou doesn't seem like he is. So maybe we try a one-stop with Altry and try a two-stop with Guan Yu Zhou and just, just see how it goes. I think I'd probably edit this and go two mediums and then a hards maybe, or even soft tyre. Like, is there a soft compound we could use at the end to go very aggressive? So we go mediums and we go a little bit longer in these stints. Could that work out for us, maybe? I want to just see, for the sake of experimenting early in the career mode, let's just see. Let's see Let's see how a two-stop pans out. Medium, medium, soft. And then bot-ass, medium to hards. We might compromise Joe a little bit with the extra pit stop, but I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just, I just I feel like we should try something different. Now we should have good weather for the race, and that will be welcome news for the teams. And there's Valtteri Bottas. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. And there's Joe, down the grid. With a top 10 position on the grid, this race could really go either way for them. Will their hard work pay off today? Get ready for the Australian Grand Prix. All right, round number three of our career and season, the Australian Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away He's we go. He's on the way. What are we saying for Bottas? Granny Joe, let's ride on board with him for once. Russell, oh, Russell's had a good start. Russell's had a very good start. He's overtaking us. Side by side to turn one. Joe battling for P9. Bottas up into P4. He's overtaking Perez. We missed that, we missed that, but oh, Joe lost two positions, but he's gained it back, to be honest. He's, he's gone to P9, but I wanted to see a replay of Bottas. There we go. Let's look at the replay at that start, because I was focused on Joe. Bottas, round the outside at turn one, nice and aggressive. Just gets it done, gets it done. Very nice overtake. As it's once again Leclerc, Verstappen, Sainz, Bottas, P4, Granny Joe, 
able to really overtake Russell. That's good from him. And then can we get on to attacking the McLaren? I'm going to go aggressive with him. I'm going to go standard with Valtteri. And see how this goes. Can we hold up the Red Bull any more than we have done in previous races? And then with Granu Joe, well, can we make the overtake? Even early on, I might go for the overtake mode here. On the next, on this next, once he goes past here. Use overtake mode here, now. It was overtake. Come on, can we get past? Copy. Let's try and squeeze past. Come on, let's go for the move. No. Oh, there's a big car. There's a big... Oh, no, Bottas. No. No. Let's take a closer look. Now we see Valtteri Bottas. What happened? Oh, Perez with the big lockup. You oh, doofus. Nobody else was involved. You that muppet. Was a big oh, God. A what the run. hell happened Let's there? The Let's look at another We're replay. Perez record. went for the move. Wanted to desperately get it back. Locks up. Hits Bottas. And there's a bit of damage maybe to Valtteri's oh, no. front wing that I can there's see on the, the right-hand right side. That is Mark devastating. Words, Has he got damage? He's got damage, later. hasn't he? Oh, no. Aero. What broke? What broke? Front wing. Minor damage. Okay, we need to come in. And fix that, maybe? I mean, how damaged is it? Is it going to re... Uh, it's only minor. Okay, maybe you can get away with it. I think we can maybe get away with it. Let's just, let's just carry on. Let's carry on. It's minor damage. And let's see. Perez has a penalty, obviously. We can see some damage to your front wing. Let's ignore it. It's only minor damage. Let's see what we can do with the minor damage. Perez is in, though. Absolute muppet. With the biggest lock-up in the world there. Just salty that we got his driver. Bottas continues. Let's just see how, how he is on with that slightly damaged wing. Meanwhile, Grand Yu Joe. Well, we, we, we kind of missed it. We were looking to maybe overtake uh, uh, overtake Norris. But it hasn't, hasn't worked out for us. Right, I'm going to use some fuel, Grand Yu Joe. Overtake mode as well, mate. Let's go. Let's get past here. Let's get past here. Please, please. Okay. Didn't do it before the chicane. After the chicane. Come on. Come on. Make the dive. Come on, make the dive, make the dive. Yes, yes. Go on for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Yes, yes. Side by side. Come on, we can do this. Yes, harvest, harvest. All good, all good. Standard, pushing on fuel, but harvest, ERS. But that was a good overtake. That was a very good overtake. We don't need to watch the replay. We saw it live. Nice dive down the inside. Love your work, Joe. Love your work. But Norris gets back past him there, unfortunately, now to turn one. I think there's two laps after. Big dive down the inside. Joe actually got pinched a little bit because it was three wide and he lost time there. He got pinched out and squeezed out by the McLaren driver. So he lost a bit of time to Norris and got re overtaken by him. And now we've got Russell for company behind us. Um, I think we got, yeah, we overtook Latifi here. Bottas getting up into P18. Uh, this is on the outside. Nice move, actually. Took all the way to the circuit, but got the move done. Very nice move. For him then, next target, Albon. And then just kind of slowly making our way up the grid as much as we can, really, to be honest. He's showing some okay pace, though, despite the front wing damage. I think that's, that's pretty good for him. That's pretty good for him. Meanwhile, Joe feeling the pressure from Russell. DRS open for the Mercedes guy, but he defends well. But Russell's on the outside. Come on, squeeze him out. Yes, come on. Keep it up, keep it up. Russell continues to fight him. DRS now for the second bite of the cherry. We're using some ERS to defend. But now... We don't have much charge left. Meanwhile, at the sharp end, Leclerc leads. It's a 1 2 for Ferrari. Sainz in the lead ahead of Verstappen. Two Alpines doing insane in P4 and 5. Norris even P6, but he's going to get overtaken by Russell, maybe. And we're hoping we can catch up to them as Russell makes the move on him. Can we make the move uh, on both of them, maybe? I don't know. But we're closing. We're closing with this fight with the Merck and the McLaren. Russell. Looking to make a move. We're kind of just sussing out if there's a place where we can get both of them. Joe's doing well to re kind of recompose a bit after he's getting overtaken here. But ultimately, both me and Russell need to clear Norris because that McLaren is slower. And we need to close up to those Alpines who are not too far down the road. Good job. Good job. You know, it's only, it's only, uh, what? What's the gap? Like two seconds down the road. So... A position gained Bottas for gets Albon Romeo. though. Bottas let's continuing to make his progress up. Slow this. progress, the but Alpha it is progress. Romeo. He's catching up to all the slower cars that we should be overtaking. Next up is the two Aston Martins and the Haas. And it's a really nice overtake for Bottas round the outside. Right, Russell's past Norris. We need to get past him now. Overtake mode. Let's go. Come on. Attack, attack him now. Attack him now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the overtake done now. Now. Come on. Round the outside. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yes! 
That's what we want. Same Good stuff. Shoot. Good stuff. And back to harvest. Back. No, he's come back at us. Overtake. Come on. Keep deploying. Keep deploying. Come on. Yeah. Okay, we'll stay ahead. We'll stay ahead. My God. McLaren's putting up a real good fight. Real big fight. We've got a lot of fuel here. Let's push that fuel. And Let's Bottas overtakes another car. Then. He overtakes Stroll. We see so we're not Bottas. missing any of the action from Bottas. Just doing his thing, really. On the outside of Stroll. Making good work of these cars. Now it's the Haas. And then it's Vettel up next. But I'm just focused on Joe right now. Trying to get him away from this buddy McLaren, really. And Bottas Let's now overtakes Sebastian replay. Vettel. Now, it's the, the overtake Mayo show Mayo. here from Valtteri here today. With the slightly broken wing as well, remember. Gets the Aston Martin. Next up is the Haas. So he's already up to how... Where, where is he up to now? It's up to P15. It's not re really not bad progress, to be honest, considering the situation. So I, I still think points are on the cards for Bottas. I, I think a P10 is very much doable. And finally, now Bottas gets Valtteri that last Bottas. car on that pack. Schumacher on the inside. Very nice afternoon of overtaking, sir. Now gets on to the Alpha Tauri's up into P14. So... Alpha Tauri's next. Guan Joe continues to be pressurized by Lando Norris. And I just cannot shake him. I cannot shake him. And he's right there on the inside. Might even make the move here. Oh, side by side. And we're just not catching Russell as much as I want to with Joe. And the Alpines are there. They are there for the taking. Let's use a bit of overtake mode now. We've harvested enough. We Schumacher's re-overtaking really Bottas right, then. This. Oh, DRS range. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, no, Valtteri. No. Back down one position. Damn it. He was making very good progress. Very consistent progress, but we'll see. Right, Let's Joe. Three overtakes Magnussen. And the, I think he also there got Norris at the Joe. same time, maybe, or very close by. Because I think he gets Magnussen there. And then looks to make the move on Norris as well. I think literally in the next straight, maybe the replay cuts Goodness out. Me. And doesn't show it because he gets very get close. And I think, yeah, the replay just cut out, but he got he got um he got Norris there as well. So he's back up those two positions he lost, which is good. I like that. Let's continue on though. Guan Yu Joe is in P7. He's got Hamilton right behind him here, who's now finally caught up and overtaken some cars. Norris and Magnus have been pushed down because of that. I think Magnuson just made a mistake, but Norris has been pushed down. So now we've got to, well, we're trying to catch the Alpines who are now finally being caught by Russell. You can see the pace of Mercedes is finally coming in, basically, uh, in this race. Because Hamilton has arrived on the scene to try and get Joe. And then meanwhile for Bottas, he's got Sonoda, I think, and he's now catching up to Magnussen. So Magnussen just was battling our other Alfa Romeo car. Bottas now back in the frame to be fighting him. And he's done well to recover to P13, very much so. 60, uh, 66 percent tire wear as well it's the same as ricardo and magnus and they didn't have that spin so i'm actually really happy with bottas's progress he's definitely going to recover into some points today which is good for our sponsors good for him as well the granny joe i wanted a bit more from him today i thought his practice session was so good that he was gonna pay some dividends but alas don't think so might get overtaken here he might do he might do He's a bit of overtake mode to try and help him. because I, I, I feel like defense ERS Obviously. sometimes is a little bit worse than overtake mode because it kind of dumps all the ERS. Bottas going for a move. Can he get the Haas? Please. Get him. We've got 100% of ERS here to use. Let's go. DRS open. Dump, dump, dump. And we are through. Nice. Right, I'm going to tell Guan Yu Joe to pit in this lap. So full out attack. And burning a bit of fuel, maybe even, because we could probably save some later. But uh, I'll just keep on, on. He's had a little bit of uh, ERS to use on neutral. Right, Guan Yu Joe is coming in on this lap. 42% tyre wear on the mediums. Going to come in for another set of mediums. So this is a risk because we are in a pretty good position. You know, sure, we could try and convert Joe to a one stop and sure. just, you know, do it from there. But I don't know. I just want to try it. I just want to ex experiment a bit with the two stop and see how a two stop works nice in this work. game. Um, so we're coming in for another set of mediums and we'll see how the pace is like on those. Meanwhile, Bottas just, just overtook Magnus in there. We won't watch the replay because we're watching when you do a stick stop, but I assume Bottas here yeah, just got past Magnus in there. So they've been swapping positions ever since he kind of called up to him. And uh, we're looking to try and catch up with Ricardo just down the road and get kind of stuck into that bottom top 10 fight for those last points. Uh, but with Guan Yu Joe, it's a bit of a different story. We're kind of pushing flat out from the get go and uh, looking to stay ahead of Hamilton and catch the likes of Alonso, overtake them, and then push on to build that gap for this pit stop. 
Right, Bottas, Bottas on 34% ties is actually keeping up with Russell here, which is kind of mad. Just maybe showing, and with a broken wing, maybe just showing how bad the hard ties are, which kind of then makes it kind of frustrating that on attack mode, um, Joe can't get Hamilton. But I don't know if his ties are overheating, maybe a little bit there, actually. So maybe if we go to aggressive, that will be better for him. I'm not sure. And then let's go for deploy and try and overtake him or overtake mode. Come on, please get him. Please get him on this next straight. Let's go, let's go, let's go. DRS open as well. Come on, make the dive. Down the inside, yes. Come on, mate, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Yes. Lovely. Through Hamilton. Oh, dives back down the inside though. Good oh, job. no, it's not over. It's not over. Overtake mode again. Another douse of overtake mode. Come on. Use Even use a bit of fuel, mate. If you need it. Hamilton's back at us. Using Use overtake mode to defend. Copy. On the outside. The Come on, Joe. Come on. And Bottas overtakes Russell on 34% tyres. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? We're having such a weird battle. Bottas is overtaking a Merc on older tyres. And Grand New Joe cannot overtake on fresher tyres. This is just weird. Full push on the fuel. And then he's going to come in. Even if Russell's just overtaken us. That's probably the cue to go in. Meanwhile, Joe's still trying to badger Hamilton. His two-stop's not going to work, is he? He's just not got enough pace to be clearing a Merc and catching the Alpine. Right, Bottas is in. He's going to come around P15, I think it said. Well, it did said, apparently. Allegedly, let's see. Pit stop time, not bad. Where is he going to be? P12? P12, just ahead of Perez, maybe. So the man who took him out... He's right behind him now again. Dear God. But now we've got, what? Five seconds to get into points of P9. Not bad, not bad. I think we can do that. We can definitely Looks do that. Like that was a position gained and Joe Alfa finally Romeo. overtakes we Hamilton. Whilst I'm not now watching watch that. The Alfa DRS Romeo open on the outside. One. Please, let's say we can just have this be the last one. And we can push on and catch the Alpine cars. Just to even make this two-stop somewhat work. Right, sit rep. Joe's got away from Hamilton. Don't actually know what happened with Ham because he kind of just fell away. I don't really know how he fell away because he's there. Well, he's actually, no, he's, he, I thought he fell away. He's actually right behind now. Oh, God. At 34, this is, uh, well, it's, it's the same site really as uh, Joe and Hamilton swapping positions job, and frustration because the two Alpines are fighting each other. So they are losing time to each other, but we're not gaining enough on them. Despite being on mediums. I know they're worn mediums, but you'd think that there's going to be a bit of a pace advantage, but it's just not really been there, even though we have got a better car than Alpine. We're on the quicker tyre. It's uh, not working out as, as well as I hope. Maybe the tyre temps are, are high, but they're not that high, I don't think. There's a bit of fuel to use, so let's use that. Uh, and then with Bottas, P12, he's finally caught up to Ricardo Gas in Norris, so he just needs to make slow progress and uh, he'll be able to get up into some good points. Someone oh, wait, what the hell? Out. Oh, Russell Let's Spann. Russell Spann. Now, that was what the yellows were for. Russell, Russell, on the second last corner, rear end steps oh, out. Dear, oh, dear, and there's going to be a few far past in the Alpines, even us, and Guan Yu Zhou. So now, all of a sudden, Zhou is going to be up into, what is that, P7? P7? Yeah, P7, but Hamilton's there. We could be P6 if Joe could actually keep ahead of Hamilton. On then, overtake him. Let's go. Get him. Get him. Can you overtake? Get him. Yes. Copy. We're through. Why not? Pull away from him, mate. Pull away. Go full out attack, man. Let's go on. Let's just get past him. Meanwhile, here, what is going on here? Big push. We've been harvesting for so long. Right, overtake mode. Let's go. Overtake mode. Let's go aggressive on the tyres. Let's attack these guys around the outside. Yes. Ooh, it's kind of two by two here. In this section of the circuit, Bottas on the outside of Ricardo to get up into P11. Come on, man. Hey, Come on. No yes. And now uh, no, the battery's empty. Battery's empty, though. God damn it. Attack, attack. That we use all the overtake mode on that one corner. And now we're going to be Let's susceptible. And now we're going to get actually overtaken in the end because we've used all the ERS there. We're going to overtake by two cars. My Copy. God. It is such a competitive midfield here. Ah, that was frustrating. Oh, good. Oh, that's so annoying. That turned him from getting P11 to being down to P13. Oh, pits. Oh, Hamilton's pit. Oh, Hamilton's pit. Oh, that's amazing. He's built onto... Oh, so Alfa he's doing Romeo a two-stop. Just moved up a place. Bottas Here's gets Ricardo as well. Norris is in. Sonoda's in. Okay, okay. These guys 
are having another pit stop. Bottas around the outside, so miss this kind of whole situation where Norris actually got overtaken by Bottas. There but Bottas go. actually overtook both Norris and Ricardo. And so That's Bottas now is into P7 all of a sudden, and Vettel's now spun. It's all Take kicking off. Again. Are the tyres going Sebastian off for everyone? Vettel. Maybe so. Big mistakes going on. Well, Joe's going to make another pit stop because he has to. And he's going to come out, well, what does it say he's going to come out? Around, um, around P13, apparently. And then on, he's on the softs, though, so he could do some good work. And then Bottas, he's recovered very, very well to, um, to P7. Russell's kind of, well, he's ahead of him. Russell's just down the road, so maybe there's half a chance he catches back to Russell. Right, Joe needs to go on for a little bit longer before we make his pit stop. The pit stop, stop window is active. I just want to go for maybe one more lap. So I'm telling him to hold up Russell if he can. I'm going to go attack now. Heavy fuel. Hold him up for a oh, little push, bit push, here. Push. Holding up Russell. Push. He's holding up Russell. He's holding him up actually really well here. Good stuff there, Joe. Good stuff. Going to bring Bottas back into play with Russell. And then you're going to come in very nicely. Good stuff. He's in. Perfect. And now it's up to Bottas to catch up to Russell, who's two seconds down the road. And then Joe's in for the soft compound, and hopefully he'll be out. It says around lap 30, uh, lap P th P13, so around the McLarens. Good pit stop. Ugh, a, bit a bit slow, I would say, but where's he going to be out? P13? Yeah, P13. Right, sit rep, laps, uh, seven laps to go. Brand new Joe, P12, being hounded by Perez, who's also on the soft compound, and then Norris on the mediums, and we're like... Well, you can see there the interval, 15 seconds from Ricardo. So the two-stop really, really not worked with Guan Yu Zhou. He just hasn't had the pace to make it work. Um, and then what the hell has Bottas just done deploying all that ERS? Is he catching up to someone? No. Bottas has recovered amazingly from last place to P6. He's actually, Bottas is actually a bit overpowered in this game. He's insane. He's actually incredible. Whereas Joe. I really, like I said, I had high hopes for him. Really high hopes. Just hasn't panned out. Last sure. lap of the Grand Prix. Joe gets overtaken by Norris. His softs, they've gone off. He's yeah, not been able to make his two-stop work at all. I think we can, can conclude the two-stop. Uh, not the one. Unless you have a really and quick McLaren car. With a great but yeah, Joe can make it work. Maybe Bottas could have, but Bottas has done amazingly to be up here in P6, considering how his race started. It's the last lap of the Grand Prix. And Leclerc is going to win this one. Back-to-back -back victories from Jeddah to Australia. Verstappen second place. Sainz in the podium in third. Ocon P4. Russell, Bottas and amazingly. Uh, and all these guys got lapped, so they've already finished their races. So Guan Yudro will be finishing in P14. But Leclerc has won it in Jeddah. Well, Bottas from being taken out at the start of the race by Sergio Perez. He's done very, very well to recover from P6. What a drive from our flying fin today. Not a top five finish, but P6 will do. P6 will do. To be ahead of Alonso, Hamilton, um, Perez after being taken out by the Red Bull. Amazing. Frustrating race for Guan Yu Joe. Probably should have kept him on the one stop and nine side, but I did want to experiment. I just did. This is a decent enough result here from Valtteri Bottas. Not a bad run from Alfa Romeo this weekend, but before the next race, I think they'll want to take a good look at what they can improve. There's no rest for F1 team. Let's hope their hard work to get them closer to exceeding expectations in the next race. And after this result, the team is fourth in the constructor standings. Now the teams will be looking ahead to Imola, where the season progresses with the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix. Get ready for some fierce competition. So after that one, Leclerc is going to take a bit of a lead in the Drivers' Championship. Constructors-wise, we move below Mercedes and we're reminded of how hard a battle it is going to be battling Mercedes because uh, that was a much tougher Grand Prix, especially for Joe. Uh, and Alpine make good, good progress. Like I said, Alpine would join us in this fight and they are going to. 25 points, 18 points that race. That was big from them. Big from them. They are definitely going to be fighting us. So I think it's, it's, it's nice. It's a really nice dynamic of a three-way championship fight for P3 there uh, for ourselves, uh, obviously, away from the top fight between Ferrari and um, and Red Bull. But uh, good uh, experience again. 
by Guan Yu Zhou. And uh, 4.2 million for this one because of the uh, the sponsors we got for the uh, guarantees of qualifying position and Q2. And uh, the performance incentives, well, we didn't get the finished position, but we did get the Q3 and qualifying streak as well. So that's where we're going to end off this part number three, guys. So if you have enjoyed it, hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And next time out, we're going to kick things off with a regulation change vote. So that's going to be very interesting. If you're on your hand here, do get subscribed for weekly, for all on content. I'll see you then. Goodbye.